Hey there folks, I'm Joe Zim and I'm here to talk to you a bit about making your life a little bit simpler by integrating your project's development workflow into your favorite code editor, Sublime Text. Without integrating your workflow into your editor, you'll end up doing what I used to do constantly switching back and forth between my editor and my console in order to run my commands for builds and such. Uh, some editors, like WebStorm, have a console built in, but Sublime doesn't, so what can we do? I kept exploring ways to integrate a console into Sublime text using plugins or whatever, but nothing quite worked the way I wanted it to. Now, Sublime does have a built-in console, but it may not be exactly what you'd expect. It's more of a Python REPL, as you can see. Normal console commands don't work, but Python code runs, and you can run Sublime-specific commands from in here, but that doesn't really help me at all. However, I did finally find a solution that I'm satisfied with, and it's built right into Sublime. It's called Build Systems. You can find all the build systems that come with Sublime, or that your plugins include, or whatever, and the ones you've created on your own under the Tools menu with under Build System. This is where you select a build system to use, but right now, we're actually going to create a new one. So click the New Build System menu item, and it'll open up a new file with the most basic bits. You'll, you may see shell command or just command. There are some differences between the two, but I've always found shell command does exactly what I want and command is a little different. If you're more curious about the differences between the two that I really am, you can look at the documentation linked below the video to find out more. Uh, we're just going to be using shell command. So let's change this make command to ls as a simple example of a command that we can use in our build systems to see how they work. Then we'll save the build system. Notice that it automatically takes you to the user packages folder for your Sublime Text installation, which is where you want to save these so that Sublime can find them. We'll save the file as ls.sublimebuild, and then Sublime will use the file name as the name of the build system. So now, if we go to the Tools menu and look at Build Systems, we'll see our new build system is now listed there. Sweet! Now, let's select it as our current build system. And now we need to tell Sublime to actually run the build. So you'll notice that I'm using a mouse and the menus instead of keyboard shortcuts. This is entirely for your sake, so you can see what I'm doing. If you're a keyboard user, you can always look at the menus to figure out the keyboard shortcuts for yourself, or if you're super cool, uh, you can customize them to your liking with the key bindings preferences. Um, but returning from our tiny tangent though, let's run this build. And there you have it. We ran a shell command without leaving Sublime and the output showed up in a paddle at the bottom of the screen. You may have noticed that we never specify which directory this command should be run in, but it listed the contents of the user packages directory. In part two of these videos, I'll actually show you some more options that we can give to the build system so you can make these build systems a little bit more useful, like running where you want them to.